Patrick here from the Garage Band Guide. That Garage Band 10, eh? Full of surprises. Not least of which is the brand new drummer track. Put simply, the drummer track is amazing. In a nutshell, what it allows you to do is to select from a number of presets and drum kits and have them played for you by your very own virtual drummer. So without further ado, let's dive right in and see what we can do with the drummer track. So we're in a GarageBand 10 project and you can see that it has no drum track of any kind whatsoever. So the first thing we're going to need to do is open a new track by hitting the add track icon and then select drummer from the menu here. And there's already 16 bars worth of drum loop added to your project automatically, which is nice. By default, there's only one drummer available, and that's Kyle. Hi, Kyle. You can add more drummers to your roster via an in-app purchase. Uh, I would definitely recommend doing so. You get an extra 1,500 loops as well as tons of extra instrument sounds to boot. So do it if you haven't already. And you can see for each different genre that you're able to select, there is a variety of different drummers that can play for you within that particular genre. But I think we'll stick with good old Kyle for now. So Kyle plays the SoCal kit by default. Let's hear how that sounds. And in the library panel on the left, you can select from different drum kits for Kyle to play. The actual drum pattern doesn't change, just the sound of the drums that are being played in that drum pattern. Each drummer has their own set of presets too, which you can switch out on the fly and drastically change how the drum pattern sounds. There's a ton of different controls you can use to fine tune your sound, the first of which is the XY pad. If you've ever used smart drums, on the GarageBand iOS app, then you're gonna feel right at home here. It works in kind of the same way. It's quite intuitive and simple to use. So if I drag the puck down here between simple and soft, and then if I move it between soft and complex, and then if I move it up between simple and loud, Yeah, you have a lot of control over the dynamics of your drum pattern and you can really shape how it sounds very easily. Over here in the right hand box in the drummer window, you have the option to add different percussion instruments to your drummer pattern. Now you can choose to add tambourine, shaker or hand claps and you have three different variations of each sound that you can use. Here's the tambourine. Here's how the shaker sounds. And this is the hand claps. I'm kind of liking the hand claps. I think I'll keep those in. You can also select specific parts of the kit to be played and there's four different variations of how they'll sound. So this is the different hi-hat variations. And here's the different tom sounds you can have.
And here's how the cymbals sound. And you have half time and double time options on the right hand side of the kick drum and snare slider at the bottom here. You can actually have your drummer track follow the rhythm from another track within your project. So if I click the follow button here and select the classic drive track, my drummer will then follow the beat from that track. And you'll see that the pattern changes slightly on the waveform to more closely follow the classic drive track. And if I change the selected track to Double Driven, you'll see that the waveform will change on the drummer track to more closely follow the Double Driven track. Increasing and decreasing the value in the fill wheel will tell your drummer how much fancy stuff to inject into their drum pattern. The same thing goes for the swing slider, although it actually changes the timing of the pattern if you crank it right up. Doesn't really go with my project, but I'm sure you could see how useful it could be. And you can use the greyed out padlock symbols there to lock and save your fills and swing settings if you decide to change drummer. Poor Kyle. Well, that's about it for our in-depth look at the drummer track in GarageBand 10. If you want to find out more about how to use GarageBand, you can grab your free copy of my 41 page ebook, The GarageBand Quick Start Guide. It's absolutely free. Just click the big, massive link right in front of you to be whisked away to my website where you can grab yourself your free copy. If you like this video, then make sure you hit the like button. It really does help. And subscribe to make sure you don't miss out on more gorgeous, lovely garage band videos coming your way really, really soon. Bye for now.